Hey there, welcome back to Simply Nook. I am Sean, your senior support technician. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clone your disc. It is always good to have a backup. Let's get started. Today we're gonna to utilize an external drive and a Clonezilla key. Now Clonezilla is the program that we're gonna be using to clone the discs. You can actually get this program uh, off the internet. You'll want to utilize, uh, I utilize the program called Rufus to make Clonezilla into a bootable USB. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we are going to go ahead and boot into Clonezilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Plug this in here. We're gonna go ahead and plug up our external drive as well. We're gonna hit F10 to get to our boot options. Once we get into our boot options, we're gonna go ahead and select the Clonezilla key. That'll be this one right here. All right. All right. We are gonna go ahead and select Clonezilla Live, default settings at the top here. And it's gonna take a moment to boot into Clonezilla. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and select our language. We're gonna go ahead and select English here. It's gonna ask you which keyboard layout you want. We're gonna go ahead and keep the default keyboard layout. All right, and we're gonna start Clonezilla. All right, once we start, it's gonna ask you how you want to set up the image. We are going to do device to device. We're gonna work directly from a disk partition to a disk partition or partition. All right, it's gonna ask you if you would like to select expert, exit, or beginner. We're gonna go ahead and stay with beginner mode. All right, next step is going to be disk to local disk. Now bear in mind, disk to local disk, the disk you are cloning to is going to be overwritten. So if you have any data on it, it's going to be removed. Now the first option is gonna ask you which drive you are wanting to clone. What is the source? The source here is going to be our Kingston drive. And we want to clone it to our Barracuda drive. All right. Here we can go ahead and skip checking repairing source file system. And this is an option asking you what you want it to do once it is completed. And we will go ahead and set it to reboot. All right, down below, it's gonna tell you to press enter to continue. All right, it's gonna ask you a couple of times, are you sure you want to continue? And we're gonna hit Y for yes and enter. It's gonna ask you again, Y for yes and enter. And this is just notifying you that all partitions are going to be overwritten. And now the disk is being cloned. Simply wait the allotted time. Once the device has completed cloning, it will reboot the device as we set it. Uh, you can also just set it to shut down. Uh, so that way you'll know that once your device is shut down, the disk has completed the cloning process. If there are any errors, it will stop and it'll notify you of the error. Now that the drive has finished cloning, it is safe to go ahead and remove your external drive. You now have a cloned copy version of your drive in case anything catastrophic were to happen. Make sure to store it somewhere safe. Thank you again for choosing Simply Nook.